Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you these two journals. Uh, I just finished a tutorial for my Patreons with altering one book and this was happened. I'm gonna switch off my lights just to show you the effect on this book and then slight shining on both of these books. So please be prepared. I'm gonna switch off my lights. And I hope you are able to see that beautiful glowing of my book. It does glow all over of this book cover. Unfortunately, right now it's too late uh, when I took it from sunshine, when it's on the sun uh, for a few hours, then in the darkness it's, show, it's glowing all the cover. I just used the lamp to... Uh, put this shiny, <laughs> put the light on the front cover and I can also show you how my book is shining through the cover here and here we have the other one which does have shining around as well so because these books are witches journals it's like the spells I shining through. I'm gonna switch on my lights again. And I'm gonna make small flip through to both of these books. I really did enjoy to make these books. It was kind of like... <laughs> it, were, it went more crazy than I expected, to be honest. I didn't thought at the first that I will end up with two books made from one started out book. But because it was just too much to put it into one book, if you will imagine this as one book, it was like too much, I end up with two journals. Uh, these are uh, Witches Almanacs and both of them have kind of like beautiful moving effects like opening window here. And they are inspired by story I read in the book about Martha English who was living in the Salem and she was uh, accused to be a witch. Uh, it was like a real trial in the past in 1698, I think, I do believe. She moved to New York and because I read that story, I was kind of inspired to create a book from the things her grand grand granddaughter found in the attic when they had to move from their house to you know so they need to clean the house and she found so many things about her grand great grandma uh, that she was from Salem you know I can I made that story in my head and this was happened after that <laughs> these two books like she found all this stuff in the attic and she made her journals so here we do have flying letter i really love this uh, this effect and i do have in this book also a few spells and also a few herbal cards so here we have first spell these spells i found on pinterest so if you are looking for some design spell designs uh, you can have a look on pinterest on uh, many beautiful beautiful designs are on graphic fairy website so you can find so many things in there as well and i do have here many pictures uh, which are re related to kind of like ghost and the witches and the many amazing ephemeras related to salem so here I do have kind of like, um, it's like cir secret circle, I'm gonna call that secret circle. You can write some notes under this picture and these envelopes are holding mostly uh, Halloween invitations from the past and they are so funny to read so I had to add them in there. And uh, I used also designs which I shared in my Halloween week through the uh, on my YouTube channel through that Halloween week. So I used the design which I made for a trick or tr trick and treat uh, coffin box. I used that design to make small notebook. 
So I do have one here. And here on the bottom you can see embossed mini tag. I hope you will be able to see that embossed effect on this mini tag. It's really gorgeous and I just love it. So both these books, they do have so many pockets and in these pockets I do have a those pictures and invitations and also small spells and that background paper I designed it myself for this witch's almanac and it's uh, right now it's only on my patreon I, I was kind of like in that uh, yeah, very busy <laughs> moment that I made tutorial for my patreon with this book and then tutorial for YouTube with that Halloween folio so i forgot to share it on my etsy so uh, all these designs they are they are on my on my patreon right now and also a tutorial for these two books and here you can see one of the labels i shared also as a freebie through to that halloween halloween week on my youtube here I made uh, kind of like semi-transparent uh, vellum papers and I do have tutorial, <coughs> pardon me, I do have tutorial how to make uh, these semi-transparent vellum papers so I will put the link down below, <coughs> pardon me, and here I do have another of these embossed mini tags, it's really gorgeous, and it's so funny to have a look on these mini tags. And here another ephemera from Salem. Here you can see Salem. And these ephemeras are really gorgeous. And I do have a Salem map here. And also a picture of the Martha English, uh, which was accused to be, to be witch. And here I, oh, I can see I forgot to close my box. I do have here a little box. It's like magic box. So when I put some messages inside and I will close it, I can find another messages here. <laughs> I know I'm like a small child. I do like these thingies because they make me happy. It's, it's funny. Here I do have another yeah, kind of like invitation for Halloween and I used tea bag and I did uh, paint that tea bag first I made a stamping of course I did stamping and then I used my paints and I did paint that uh, stamping all over with my paints to make there some shades and uh, stuff like that and here I used stamps just on the that tea bag you know hanging thingy Here I do have again those uh, circle secret messages or secret notes and they are holding also these notes or, or the spot for notes both of them so you can uh, you can kind of unfold it here as well oh come on you can unfold it <laughs> from there don't get stuck and here on that opposite side uh, I have decorated CD uh, CD cover and kind of like grungy style to make it really kind of like scary and I do have that this picture of the witch and I think it looks so cool this way it's very grungy and I used just you know few papers and it looks so cool and here I do have uh, through to that book I do have also the pictures from the book Dance of the Death and I really love them and here another spell and beautiful picture of small witch and again another vellum paper and pocket here, this is also from that book, uh, Dance of the Dead. And here we have small opening with writing spot. And again, uh, one of these labels I shared 
as a freebie and can be lift up and I do have space for writing here and another envelope for saving goodies another that embossed 3d embossed mini tag they are so beautiful and I do have pocket here with another goodies again from Salem some ephemera and these two witches and I do have writing spot here and here and again that secret circle or <laughs> not sure how to call that secret circle message and another uh, invitation Halloween invitation and this is kind of like I, I'm not sure if it's called a spell when witches are cooking their poisons and what they are saying and on that I think it's called a spell and here I do have pocket I just forgot to put there something I made this belly band here which is holding this gorgeous picture and another another spell and I do have here <coughs> pardon me this used as a pocket the spell and opening here some envelope for Marta English and another mini journal using same design for that coffin so I use it here and I created this small notepad and I do have another picture in the pocket this way and here opening so we do have writing spot here and I do have this cute decoration and again small embossed mini tag I really hope you can see that embossed effect on these tags it's really gorgeous and here these pictures So I think I'm just gonna show you because I don't have to tell you that is ephemera. You can see that, and that something is picture. You can see that too. So here I do have opening for this. Uh, this is number of protection, and here is explanation. What that mean? And I do have here a mini notebook uh, with the undertaker. Uh, undertaker like poem or gossip or not sure how to call that undertaker poem and another opening here And I do have here also pocket, kind of like envelope, uh, made from that vellum. And another ephemera here from Salem. And again, picture from the Dance of the Dead book. And here, uh, this, if I'm not mistaken, this is the picture of the um, major, I think it's called major, of the Salem. And here we do have lifting up and it's like pocket. Mayor, not major, mayor, sorry. That's, yeah, I was now very hardly thinking how it's the right pronunciation. Mayor of the Salem. You know, sometimes the English, it's very confusing for me. We just spoke with Jacob. I tried to ask him if he can explain me something. <laughs> that how it's possible that uh, name, E-V-E, -E, you are saying that if in English, right? But the occasion events hopefully i'm saying that right that events are happening sometimes you know some christmas events events is that the right word it's saying events 
if I'm saying that right. I'm still confused from that because it's it's written down E V E N T C I think and it's just confusing that sometimes I, it really makes me <laughs> makes me stuck with open mouth how <laughs> how I can mean that how I can understand <laughs> so I'm going to continue with this book some writing pages and we are on the end i do have here my shining uh lighting page and uh it can be uh, it can be open separately with this opening you will move that bottom and you will uh kind of open the secret box with the poison powders and with those schools and with shining inside i'm gonna switch off my light again and just to show you how beautifully it looks like how beautifully these gorgeous powders looks in the darkness and you can slide it back and this little waterfall, it does have pictures and envelopes, so some goodies can be stuck inside. It's always one picture and one envelope. And the picture and the envelope. And just slide it back. And that is at the end of this Witch's Almanac. And this second one, that glowing one, I so enjoyed to make this one. It was kind of like surprise, surprise that I'm going to make another one because I had just, just so many parts from my altering book. So this has uh, my small opening right here and inside is this school and it's also space for saving some goodies so I can slide it back and it does have kind of like keyhole here. You can flip it down and it does have also lights all, all around. I'm going to switch off the lights again. So you can see that maybe some spell is shining through. I'm going to switch on the lights again. I need to say that because sometimes it's very harsh for eyes, so I need to warn you that there will be changes in the lights. So if you saw ever, I think it's called um, magic of color of magic it's inspired by Terry Pratchett books there was a book which was <laughs> shining because the spell inside fly away <laughs> so, and it was kind of wiggling all the time so that, that, that was kind of like inspired inspiration for this one and in this book I do have so many writing spots uh, spots. I do have also so many embellishments here. I do have uh, like an embellishment number 31 or number 13 Depends of you what you gonna choose and there is October or there is coffin So it depends how you will change it that is going on and we do have here a mini notepad with all kind of herbals writing spot and then some herbal so you can write down some uh, some herbal mixture you know it can be healing or it can be as a poison you know it depends which way you want to go and again I do have secret circle here and here I do have uh, this is one of the labels I shared as a freebies through to that Halloween week and I do have it as my uh, accordion and you can slide something behind this school so I'm gonna close that again hold it there and again one of these uh, invitations made as a pocket and here I do have another accordion book accordion opening and there is a pocket here and with this book there will go so many goodies in my collapsible envelopes I had so many questions about my collapsible envelopes uh, these collapsible envelopes 
I do have prepared a tutorial for this, but it's for my Patreon. It's like Christmas marathon and it's already uh, scheduled on my Patreon. So I can't share it on, on the YouTube. I'm, I'm so sorry. I hope you will understand. This is what I created for my Patreons and they, it have to stay there. But you can you can find it there if you will join my Patreon. You can join the Patreon just for a month and then leave uh, the Patreon. It's nothing what you have to subscribe for a long time. You can be there just for, um, for a month and then just leave. Nobody will judge you. Nobody will try to kind of push you somewhere where you don't want to be. So I'm, I'm sorry, I can't share this on the YouTube because it's already... Uh, scheduled on my Patreon and I hope you will understand. Thank you so much for that. So I'm gonna continue with this. It does have again opening, again these circles and again opening here and I do have belly band right behind that opening and here another picture. This is also from that uh, Dance of the Death book. I just love these pictures. They are very well made. They, they are very old. I think that book it's from Oh, now I don't remember exactly I think from 16 something 1626 but I don't remember exactly so maybe I'm wrong and here I created using these uh, these are Tim Holtz wings it's like the 3d embossing cutting folder and they are just perfect for to make a, you know to make a holder for my ephemera it's just perfect and here on the bottom I do have charm this cool hat here come on sit down and this is also as an opening when you flip it up you can get access to another pocket and here I do have another of these secret circles and here you have this picture writing spot and it can be lift up and I do have writing spot here and here a small mini notepad uh, with the poisonous mushrooms so I do have a few of them here and it's very kind of like easy navigator if you are going to find some mushrooms and you will see that they do have these uh, ripped bottoms of the hat of the hat of the mushroom if they do have these ripped uh, parts the the mushroom is probably poisonous so do not take these take those which do have this nicely and smooth not those ripped parts these are mostly 90 percent of the mushrooms with those ripped parts are poisonous they are not eatable so do not ever take them if you are not sure and I do have pocket here. This is picture from the Salem. It's uh, the store in the Salem. And these are, all of them are actually uh, store, store stuff. That was interesting to read. And I do have here on the bottom, I do have mini bottle. There is a poison, but in that mini bottle there are actually tarot cards. Mini tarot cards So uh, for some fortune teller. And one more time. Just to show you how beautiful this effect is, I do have here flying letter in this book as well because it's just it just makes me so happy to see that opening letter. And I do have opening here and kind of like semi-transparent image here. And we are nearly on the end. I do have here a few pages for writing here. <laughs> If you want to show some magics that the page is following you so you can do <laughs> You don't have to touch this page because you can manage the page with this one And I do have few writing spots opening here opening here and we are nearly on the end. I do have another accordion journaling spot here. And journaling spot here. Again, some writing pages. Envelope for some goodies here. And I do have here on the end 
I do have my magic be beetle. Is that the right word? Beetle. Or I can take it like a moth. And that's end of this book. This book will come with so many goodies because I didn't put inside too much. So I will add so many goodies with this book. And here we are on the end and also this book has opening picture. So that is end of my second book. I hope you did enjoy it walk through two of my witches almanac uh, books i hope you found some inspiration and if you like to join my patreon i will welcome you there really so much i hope you will uh, you will like it there thank you so so much for all my patreons who helped me to go through to month of october and who were big inspiration for me, really. That was amazing. Those messages I received, they were so, so amazingly. Uh, they were just such a joy to read. And you helped me so much to go through the month of October. And I think this that's why I did enjoy this book so, so much. So thank you so, so much again to all my Patreons. And thank you so much to all of you on YouTube who are following me and who are watching my videos. I hope you did enjoy this flip through. I hope you found some inspiration. If you want to see a little bit more about those books tutorial, it's now on my Patreon. Also, all the images I used inside of these books. Uh, if you like this video, Please share that with your friends on your social media. Help me to grow up this channel. It's same like with any other YouTuber. We all like to have uh, our weavers and we all like to share what we do. So I will appreciate that very much and uh, I will be forever thankful. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.